What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven. Welcome to another episode of our Pokemon White 2 walkthrough. Okay, alrighty. What's up? It's been a while. Anywho, in our last episode, yes, we feel accomplished. We actually caught ourselves into the legendary Pokemon. And I completely forgot to show you guys what that's all about, so let's go right ahead and take a look at these Pokemon. So, let's see. Hmm. Let's go to the move. And there they are. Okay, so here is Desert Storm, the original. You know, with, 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 with its gentle nature. Yeah, thanks a lot. So, here we go. The two legendary Pokemon that we've caught so far. Kabalion. This guy right here. Well, you can see its stuff right here. It does have the naive nature. Justified is his ability. I don't know what that is. And its moves, Helping Hand, Retaliate, Iron Head, and Sacred Sword. While its companion right here, Verizian. Level 45, both level 45, has a modest nature. Ability is justified. I'm going to have to find out about that. And, well, let's see what its moves are. Helping Hand, Retaliate, Giga Drain, and Sacred Sword. So let's go right ahead, let's go right ahead and take a look at that uh, justified uh, ability. So as you guys can see, raises the attack when it's hit by a Dark-type move. That's kind of what I, what I did in the last episode. Thank God that didn't work on me, or on... Well, thank God it didn't backfire on me. Anywho, let's go right ahead and get the heck out of here. So, we're in Old Pleasant City, and, uh, well, uh, we met up with the Iris. Yes, that Iris. And uh, she said go to Route 9. So, let's go right ahead and go to Route 9. But, yes, this is home to the next gym. And how many badges do I have? Completely forgot about the how, many, how many badges do I have. Let me see. Let me see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Click on that, and no, we're not trying to do that. Uh, no, we're not trying to do that. How about this? Ah, there it is. We got six badges in all. Yeah. Okay, so route number nine. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and take a tour of Opalescent City, okay? Before, you know, things freeze up and whatnot. Uh, let's see, what is this? Uh, this place has changed from quite some time. This is Drayden's house. If you guys don't know, Drayden is the gym leader of Opalescent City. And, well, there is a uh, action that's running around here. Nobody's around. So, let's see what we got. Oh, look at this. There's a football player right here. Concerned about your Pokemon's high weight. You don't need to put uh, to put it on the diet. Just hold on to this. And we got ourselves a floatstone. And the floatstone, let's see. So the weight of the Pokemon holding on to the floatstone will be halved. That way you can reduce the damage caused by weight-based moves such as low kick and grass knot, which is pretty cool right here. And this one, let's see, what did she have to say? I have an item that I don't know how to use. Would you like to give it a try and see if to make it work? Yes. And we get ourselves a ring target. Okay, so if a Pokemon holds the ring target, it can be hit even by a move that we usually have no effect. For example, normal type moves would hit ghost type moves. Mastering this item will be uh, is a bit tough. Actually, it's very tough, but think how useful it would be. Hmm. Okay, alrighty. I think I have an idea how to use this move. <laughs> Anywho, let's talk to this person. I, uh, I was Iris's coach. Even from that, the day Iris came here, she was such, uh, she was so much stronger than me. Now, I, I wouldn't stand a chance. Well, I can't stand her, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to wait and see about that. Anywho, let's go right ahead and uh, continue on with our adventure right here of Obelescent City. Let's see, there's a... Well, there's a lot of stuff right here. Uh, what is this place? I kinda wanna see what this place is all about. And if we talk to this person, I was able to get here, get to know her through retrading Pokemon. Our battle styles, tastes, and ways of thinking are different, but it's more interesting that way. And if we talk to this person, there are some Pokemon that evolve by trading parts of their bodies. We might evolve by exchanging our thoughts and opinions. I think that's what you call... Well, I'm not going to say right here. But you guys know what I'm talking about. And there are... Wow, there are a lot of these Paplitoes and stuff. Or Time Pools. Time Pools. I like Time Pools more than anyone. Uh, I'm a Time Pool fanatic. I, if I just had one more Time Pool, they would sing together. If you have a Time Pool with you, would you show me... Okay. Does this... Okay, I don't have a time pool, but I probably have... Yeah, I probably have uh, a time pool in my PC and stuff. Anywho. 
Let's go right ahead and continue on right here. I believe if you go north from Opalescent, you can go to the Pokemon League, which you probably won't be able to do just yet. Formerly the Battle House. Yes, there used to be a Battle House right here. And this is the Opalescent City Gym, right in the Spartan Mayor. If you guys remember, in Pokemon Black and White, every single gym leader has kind of like a, a job. Some kind of career. This guy is the mayor of this whole place. Anywho, you know the symbols are Zekrum and Reshiram, but I wonder where they are now. Are they passing along their ancient knowledge to someone? They probably are. And, uh, well, let's see. If talk to this lady. Gym Leader Drayden. Ha ha ha. Gym Leader Draven and Drayden leads Opalescent City as the mayor. He's always training by wrestling with his Pokemon. Yeah, well, that defeats, uh, you know, regular trading, and, uh, yeah, let's go right here. If you have a lot of props, it makes you want to put it on Pokemon. If you put props on Pokemon, it makes you want to participate in a musical. Don't you agree? Not really. I'm not that kind of guy. Know what? I hear that props you can get on your birthday. Hmm, yes. You know what? I'm a huge musical fan. What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, don't you have props? Uh, props case? Why don't you go to a musical in Nambasa City, which I am not going to take part of because, well, you guys already know. I'm just a trainer, not... Yeah. Anywho, let's see. If you talk to this guy, this is just between you and me, okay? I used to be a part of Team Plasma, but I felt like, uh... Let's see. I felt like if I was going to do what I was uh, told without thinking, it didn't have to be me doing it. So I left Team Plasma. Don't tell this story to uh, to the guy on the opposite side. Okay, so what does this guy have to say? This is just between you and me. Okay, I'm not a very good trainer, so I think Team Plasma might have the right idea when they take Pokemon away from weak trainer trainers. I do feel sorry for the people who were robbed, though. Don't tell the story to the guy on the opposite side of me. So this is the this is the yin and yang kind of thing right here. Okay, so let's go right ahead and move on ahead to the I would have to say Route Nine. Let's see, Route 9. Ah, time is dividing place. We have to go to Route 9 for some reason because, well, you know, what's your face told me to. And uh, have you heard of this before? Yes, I have. Let's talk to this person. Munch, munch. About two years ago now, I heard that the guy, that, that guy with a legendary rush ram visited Opalescent City. Munch, munch, munch. That was me. That was literally me. Okay, so here we are in Route 9. And this guy is speeding through here, so... Let's go right ahead and battle. Okay, so here we are taking on Zeke. Hopefully he's not like the Dallas Cowboys uh, former player, Zeke, who was trash. And let's go ahead and switch this out right here to Big Booty Butt Kiss. And yes, we're taking that assurance. Flame door attack for the win. That's right. That's how you feel right there. Oh, yeah. That's how that feels. Okay. So let's go right ahead and move on to the next thing right here. Like battling everybody we see because we need, uh, yeah, we need the extra points. We need our, our experience and all that stuff. As you guys can see, yeah, Scraggy's out there. And, uh, well, let's go with a, oh, crap, pass because I should have, yeah, I was going to go for a Volt Switch. And, well, yeah, let's go right ahead and do this again. Volt, uh, Charge Beam for the win. Yes, there you go. And Roughneck has been defeated. Let's go, let's see, let's see, is there nothing here? No, there is nothing right here. And there are Pokeballs around here, okay. So before we even grab these Pokeballs, we're going to be battling everybody we see. And we're taking on some Cooligans, and they're going to be coming out with some pretty cool Pokemon, Koopadile and Drapion. And, oh wow, okay, so no ground type attacks will hit us. Hmm, I got an idea. Let's go with that. And let's go with an air slash onto that guy. So here we go. A slash. That does that. And here comes a dig. We're not going to hit you. Ha ha ha. And a volt switch going our way right here. Now I'm going to feel pretty dumb if that dig attack hits us. So let's go right ahead with something that doesn't hurt. Let's go with Sigh of the Torrent. And there we go with a little bit of recovery. And let's go with a dig attack right here. And so, Air Slash. Ah, yes, we got hit. Ah, okay. And none of our attacks are really working. So, let's go with another. Another. Oh, wow. I completely forgot about that. And, yes, now we're getting our butts kicked. Yeah, okay. So, let's go right ahead and go with the Crap Baskets on a Crap Skull Stick. Let's go with the Surf Attack and Fly Attack. That way we won't get hurt. And Fly. Fly. Just fly. 
And that hits us pretty hard, so here comes a Surf Attack for the win, and there you go. We have defeated the Hooligans, our prize. It's this Pokeball, and we get ourselves an HP up. That is uh, pretty awesome right there. So, let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon, because, well, that is the important thing to do. So here we go with a Hyper Potion. Give that to that guy. Giga Lift, thank you. Um, Sigh of the Torrent. And Big Booty Butt Kiss, okay. So, let's see, there's three Pokeballs right here. Grab this, look at that, we found ourselves a Quick Ball. And... Let's see, talk to this guy. Actually, not that guy. All right, let's go right here. Come on, that's right. Time to take us on right here. So here we go, taking on Biker Phillip, and he's gonna be coming out with a Skoropi. And, well, let's go with that, Bolt Switch. Proper move right here, there you go. That actually does some damage. And we're gonna go with Big Booty Budkiss right here. Skoropi is about to do something, sharpening its claws for no reason whatsoever. So let's go with a Flamethrow attack. And, there we go. Desert Storm grows to level 15, finally! And, just like that, guys. We are getting an evolution. So after a year, a year and change, and uh, you know, swap here and there. Yes, we are finally getting our Pokemon to evolve into a very, very awesome Pokemon right here. Look at this, guys. Say hello to Flygon. Yeah, buddy. All right, all right. And it's trying to learn Dragon Tail. So let's go ahead and see what uh, what kind of a move we got right here. So. Dragon Tail is a 60 base power, 90 accuracy. The target is knocked away and switched to the wild. In the wild, a battle against a single Pokemon ends. Um, yeah. You know what? I'd rather go with the Dragon Breath because it's the same stuff. Yeah. Anywho, yes. Let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Flygon. Look at this. We got one more Pokemon to fully evolve, and we're just waiting for two more levels. So here we have Flygon. This guy is a serious nature. None of its stats are being affected or anything. It is a physical attacker. And I wanted... To, okay, so I might have... Eh, okay, well, Rock Slide would have done it. And yeah, okay. We'll, 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 go, we'll fix it up a little bit later. But its speed has gone up just a tad bit more. I'm happy. And, uh, well, let's see. Now it's time for us to use Big Booty Butt Kiss because we need this Pokemon to, like, grow. Anywho... Let's go ahead and go through the wilds right here. And I found another Pokeball. And look at this. We got Duosion looking at us. Funny. Yeah, we're not going to do... What the hell are we doing? Come on. There we go. Getting away. So, let's go ahead and grab this. We found ourselves an Elixir. And let's go ahead and move on. Yes, I I am not wearing a Repel because I want to see what kind of Pokeball we can, fight, we can find here. And... This guy wants to battle it. He wants us to give us his Pokemon, or give us our Pokemon, or whatever. So here he comes out with a Krupa Rock, and, uh, well... Let's put the Flamethrower, see what happens. And just like that, big booty butt kiss. Kicking some butt, taking some names, and let's see. There is a Pokemon right here. And look at that, we got a double battle. Yeah, not going to happen. Let's go ahead and move on, and here we have this. We found ourselves a nugget, and, well, if you guys remember, there used to be a cave here filled with some really, really strong Pokemon. It's blocked off, and we have found ourselves an iron, and, well, I would like to say we could find some more, but I don't know why... I don't know why Iris would ask us to go to Route 9. There has to be a reason, so we have to go to the building, and, yes, we're going to be battling some Pokemon, and, well, would you look at that... Alright, heat wave on both these, you know, these jackasses. So let's fly away. And heat wave. Let's finish them both off. Yes. Okay. Alright, just a little bit more points. And, well, that wasn't really a lot. So let's go right here. And. Let's go. Let's get the heck out of here. Okay. Oh, actually, it doesn't want to leave it? What the, we couldn't get away? What the heck? Come on, let us leave. Okay. It is a very, very, very fast Pokemon. So, I think we have to go straight to the building to see what this is all about. And here we have another Ponyard. Now, funny story. I remember back when I was driving XC 7 Eleven and, you know, Pokemon uh, Black and White came out. I really, really wanted to use Ponyard and uh, 
Where's the other eagle Pokemon? Yeah, I wanted to use those two Pokemon because, yeah. One looked like an eagle, and this one looked like Mega Man and all that stuff. And, of course, I had to use... Well, I found out that you couldn't get these guys until way later into the whole... Uh, way later into this whole this whole game, which was not fair. So, yeah, I used the glitch to find them and get them and all that stuff. Which... Now I know. They're not really good Pokemon. Now, here we are in the Shopping Mall 9. It's called a 9 because of Route 9. You can remember it by thinking done shopping. 9 in German. And, well, this place is pretty cool. You can actually get yourself, uh, what was it, some pretty cool items. Yes, give you some money. Yes, this, yeah, we're going to be giving her some hyper potions right here. And, well... This is just like the Celadon store. You can uh, buy yourself some pretty cool items, like, you know, more hyper potions and all that stuff. And what else? I think there's a TM place right here, so I, I, I should probably go there. Let's see. Talk to this person if you want all the TMs. This is a must visit. Yes. TM collector. So let's see what we got. TM collect collector TMs. And this place sells a Hyper Potion and a Giga Impact, basically the same thing for the amount of money that I have right now, I think. Yeah. Yeah, not going to happen. Let's go right here. I think there should be a place where you can actually buy some more TMs. And no, this place actually sells all the Pokeballs that you might need. Which, I, I did buy myself some, some Pokeballs off screen and all that crud, and... Let's see, buy this, uh, yes, proteins, nothing, none of that, okay, what about this person right here, and, well, those are X moves and all that crud, and if they're, if you talk to this Pokemon, I think, uh, the thing I buy the most often is an item called that raises in HP, or, yeah, HP up, there are also a lot of items that catch my eye, yeah, I got quite a few of those, and Lampin is, Lampin's not good at Pokemon battles, but it's great at making toast. Huh. Probably because you're not really a trainer. I'm a waiter who is good at Pokemon battles. Hmm. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's get it. We're taking on a waiter right here. Speaking of waiter, when are we going to be taking on those waiter Pokemon? Those trainers. The, the first trainers, the gym leaders from, you know. Oh, wow. We got our butts kicked right there. Damn you, Lightbird. Okay. We're going to have to switch up our Pokemon. All right, Shadar. Let's go. That's right, you're not gonna get this. That's right, you're getting us with a taunt, but here comes a brick break. There you go, brick break for the win. And there you go, alrighty. And, well, I just realized something. Let's go right ahead and take this item. Let's move it. Let's go straight to Bud Kiss, because we really need to get this Pokemon to, like, really grow it to level 45. That way, it could finally evolve and all that crud. No, it does not evolve at level 45. It's just, you know, kind of want to want it to learn all its movesets right here. The better trainer you are, the more you'll find yourself thinking. That's so you can help your Pokemon partners win. Okay, that's great. Fantastic. So, I don't think there's anything right here. Why would she say go to Route 9? Huh. Kind of stupid. Okay. So, if we go to the bridge right here, we can't get past that. So some trainers take a Pokemon called Rotom onto the store uh, storeroom of the shopping mall online. I wonder what they're doing. And, well, if you go right here. When you've crossed all the bridges in Unova, something really cool will appear. If I spread this rumor, I wonder if it will become an urban legend. Hmm. Really? I think I've crossed most of the, the bridges. Now, if you go right here, this guy can't, won't let you cross. HALT! Two Blind Bridge is currently undergoing a test to see how many people can it could hold. That's right. I can't let you. I can't any let let any more uh, people cross right now. Okay. So why would she tell me to go to Route Nine? I don't know. Huh. Anywho, let's go. Uh, let's go back into Opalescent City, and uh, what we're gonna be doing. We're going to stop the episode right here, guys. Yes, another episode where, you know, we're kind of just doing this and that. Uh, in the next episode, hopefully we'll be taking on the gym leader and more things, more fun things will happen. Anywho, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. See you guys.